see this, people? It's not a monster. It's by the same people. Nos Duty Grape. It's actually pretty good. It's no monster, but considering the same people make it, yeah. Now with that little bit of things said, on to the main portion of the program. Beep. Apparently I'm the main portion of the program. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, so where we're at, we're over by the stadium, doing our running around, getting ready to go home. Actually, we're on our way home and today I'm gonna to go the back way because we're over on this side of town and it's really just about as far. And it'll keep me off 23 and hopefully 42 will be nice and quiet. So. Like church. Nice and quiet. <laughs> over that away is the Briary. Which is open, believe it or not. And in our back seat is somebody who really shouldn't be in the back seat. He's a backseat presser. Yep, Kissy first really Turn shouldn't be in. Hi. Hello. Tell him what you didn't do today. What I didn't do? Yeah. What didn't I do? Well, you were home all day. Oh, I didn't go today, pro. <laughs> I had a brain fart, guys. Sorry. Oh, you got your gun with you? My ex boss, yeah. Show him. I did. I saluted him off. Oh, well, shoot it. Show him how much louder it is now. Maybe at the end of the video. Maybe yes, maybe no. He really doesn't want them because it's too loud and will hurt his mommy's head. Ain't that Don't right? Hurt your mommy's head. <laughs> I won't do a charge shot then, but I might shoot Ben and turn Is it really there. that loud? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. It's so loud, you probably might not want him to have it on at all. Not right now, anyway. Yep. Shoot, that is loud. If yep. that damn light will ever change color, we'll be going. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's sitting here so it'll run us over 15 minutes again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, not gonna change, you stupid light. So I went and made my dentist appointment. It's a week from Friday. It's not on Good Friday, which is fine with me. Yep, they're going to take a giant mallet and bash her face in and pick up the pieces and reconstruct good working teeth from them. Not hardly. <laughs> I get, of course. <laughs> but I am having an extraction, so. Ugh. That's going to be bad and, and painful. And, and they're going to fill, gonna refill stop. the last filling that they did because it came off but we knew it might I mean that was something we talked about uh, they just tried to rough up the edges a little and refill that filling and he said I might have to go we might have to go back and replace it because I didn't make it very deep I didn't want to make it any deeper than it had to be so it was just a surface filling and uh, I think they're going to have to make it deeper now because it just didn't want to stick. So, I just have the worst teeth. Hmm. And I live with a piece of dental floss in, in my mouth. I do. I live on dental floss. And here she is having extreme problems. Oh, and okay. Somebody mentioned this to me. And I thought I would mention it. Yes, I did splurge and spoil myself. Bought myself a whole bunch of new stuff. But, um, and somebody who's probably going to watch this video too said that was nice that I took care of myself. But it made me realize it sounded like the most selfish person on the face of this planet. My birthday is coming up. Um, these were basically the birthday presents I'm getting this year. I'm the only one in the family that drives. I'm the only one that knows my sizes. Mom doesn't even get online anymore. So other than whatever Chris got me tonight, I probably won't have any birthday presents. So I go out and take the money they would have spent and buy myself birthday presents, right guys? Right. Yeah, she could just lie and say that they're from me and Kirstie Fur. I tell myself lies. <laughs> and then the other stuff, like I was talking about, like the rugs and the forks were for the house. They weren't for me. They're yeah. for the household. And the dog. Because the dog always gets a pass. 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
it's for people like me. You gotta admit, Wolfie's enjoying those new rugs. Yes, yep. he is. He's so funny. He gets down on the one in Mom's room because it's thicker than the one in my room. Or in the living room, I should say. And he stretches out and then he lays there and takes a nap on it right in the middle of the damn floor. He doesn't care. He's like, go around me, peasants. I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he's like, rotten dog. I love that rotten dog. Yeah, we all do. He has stinker butt. Yep. No accounting for taste, that stinky little dude. Mom was, Mom was talking to him earlier and saying, you're a big bug. A bug. And I said, a bug? And she said, yeah, kind of a bug. And I said, well, it sounded like you was calling him a dirty old roach or something. And she said, no, he's a kind of a bug. And she's going, just saying to him, you're a big old bug. A bug. It's crazy. Mom loves that dog. Yeah. I love that dog, but Mom loves that dog. And I gotta tell you, she's always saying that he's I'm her his favorite. Uh uh, I'm calling bullshit. Mm. Grandma is his favorite. She loves him and he loves her. And I always say this, don't I, guys? They're yep. two two peas in a pod. Mm hmm. Those two are a matched set of nut burgers. Tell me what else you say about that dog, though. What? That he's a shit poop? No. Well, I say that too. What? Uh, that if I didn't block my room off, I'd, he'd be my dog. He would. If Chris would let him come into his room and sleep with him and stuff, I'd never see that dog again. <laughs> Between him and Grandma, I would never clap eyes on that dog again in my life. Right. Kid, too. But Kissy okay. first, like, not as far as I can throw you. I don't throw dogs, man. That's what I'm gonna say. And he still means it, though. <laughs> yeah, he still means not as far as I can throw you. I had to be evil in the videos. My, <sighs> my apologies to anyone who doesn't like evil stuff. I'm just that way. So what else is going on? Well, I'm thinking about killing Kessie for, for fun. And I'm thinking of it by wow. Chris, uh, what? Well, this weekend, I'm hoping I can surprise my girlfriend at Walmart. Yeah, he wants to go up there on Easter and see her. But he wants a pair of red Easter bunny ears to wear, and I'll be dipped to find out where to find any. Yellow would do in the pinch, too. Where am I going to find Easter bunny ears? Well, I saw them online somewhere. I can buy them off my Amazon. If anybody knows where I can buy them locally, leave a comment down below, okay? I don't know. Well, maybe Dollar Tree might have some. But I anyway, spend a no ten bucks or whatever on Easter Bunny ears. Anyway, I'm thinking about killing Kissy for for fun and killing Bomb for profit and selling all their stuff. Oh, you know what we forgot to talk about? What? Uh, Chris being a winner. Oh yes. So this Tuesday, I believe, it wasn't Monday, it was a bottom two. It was Monday. Because after we made the video, I know that much. Yeah, after we, we made the video, the we mail. checked the mail. And there's yeah, this um, big envelope in there. Let him tell it. Cassie Porter will tell you what is inside. Inside was two Dragon Ball Super card game cards, which was a surprise because I didn't enter the Dragon Ball Super sweepstakes from Premium Bandai. I entered a Digimon sweepstakes, but they also ship uh, limited edition, only made for the contest, six pack of Digimon cards. Yep, for the 2020 Digimon card game. Yep. So and basically, he entered months ago this, comp, this uh, contest. Well, it wasn't really a contest, it's more of a sweepstakes. Yep. From Bandai, and he was hoping to win some Mega Man stuff. Well, right? Gundam stuff. Gundam, that Gundam. was the first one. So but, I did not win that one. But he, you know, he, he's not proud. He'll take whatever they feel like giving him. He never had a real hope you would win, you know, just like it is whenever you win or enter or any kind of thing like that. And dang if they didn't even forget to let him know by email. We had no clue he'd won anything until it showed up in the mail. It was really exciting. And the funny thing is, this is the second contest I entered. 
The Gundam one I did not win, but the Digimon one I entered, I won. Chris wishes it was the other way around. Yes, I kind of do. But he'll take what they give him, huh? Yep. yep. So he got two cards for Dragon Ball Super and six for Digimon. Cool. And then I found out that if I entered the Dragon Ball Super, I would have only two of the Digimon cards and six of the Dragon Balls, or how many out there going to give me a Dragon Ball? Yeah, yeah it would have been reversed. Yeah, it would have been reversed if he entered the Dragon Ball Super contest. But anyway, it's really exciting to win something like that. It is. And the folder is nice, too. Now, when the kids were real little, they had this um, contest at Burger, Burger King, King, wasn't it? Yep. yep. And what they were doing is they had, it was Pokemon, right? Pokemon yeah. Pokemon the first movie toys, yeah. They had them in their Happy Meal packs. And I forget how you won. You had to send away, didn't you? No. You had to enter at the restaurant for a bench reform. Anyway, so mom lived on Burger King food for two months. And now all three of us entered. And everybody entered and tried and tried and tried. And sure enough, they won a big box full of every... Literally every Pokemon they had in that offer. Yeah. Which all was of all 52 of toys. That was a big deal. Everybody was super excited. You yep. can point down and record now. That particular set, by the way, did not come with the Pokeballs that you could slip over your face and die to. Because the contest was done after the Pokeball recall. Yeah. Oh, and I won I didn't win, but I wanted to, but I didn't win. The 101 and 102 Dalmatian prizes. But I went to yard sales and bought Happy Meals and did everything else until I got them all, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yep. So now I have all the Dalmatian toys McDonald's put out. I'm going to put those out this Christmas. There's only two toy collections I would love to buy back. Yeah. The Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin. Yeah. Power Rangers from the first movie. And all three have gone to McDonald's toys. I thought the Tamagotchi McDonald's toys were lame. Kind of way, but these they were cool oh, these. too because they were shaped like virtual pets. They had surprise like one was a flashlight, this guy's a virtual pet. Yeah, yeah, he's and basically got a wave of nostalgia stuff. taking over. All right, yeah, let's wrap so. this baby up. What was our time looking like? Almost 13 minutes. Baby up, baby up, whatever that means. I said, let's wrap this baby up. And then he asked about the time. Uh, so I so said the said time. And then up, I said, baby, baby up, baby up. I got nothing to wrap it in. <laughs> so thank you for coming with us. I know it was kind of random today, but it was just interesting. A lot of little things. So come see us again on Friday. And that'll be good Friday. So I hope you're ready for the Easter Bunny to come. The Take Easter Bunny. In the meantime, go buy yourself a basket full of goodies. Hippity hop. Nobody I know that watches my videos is good enough to deserve one from the bunny. Ha ha ha. Pass me my bag. Hippity hop. And like I said, see us on Friday. Take it easy. Take care of yourselves and wear your mask. Chris, did you want to shoot? No. Yeah, okay. Scary. He's not going to shoot. So y'all have a good evening and we'll talk to you Friday. Bye bye. Bye.